हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू इज माई स्टडी यूट्यूब चैनल हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू फाइंड इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल सो वट इज इट मीन विल अंडरस्टैंड एट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल हाउ इट कम्स एंड हाउ इट इवॉल्व देन इन द लेटर इन द कमिंग लेक्चर्स यू विल गेट द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू एन इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल electric field due to an electric dipole and also when an electric dipole is placed in a uniform electric field then what will happen and you will understand in a such an easy way that you will able to solve any numericals any conceptual problems related to the electric dipole that is my commitment to you so watch the complete lectures and if you like this videos definitely comment like share and subscribe so let us start the today's lecture so when i say that electric dipole dipole means what you know the two pole dia as my style its name suggests it is di di means two and the pole pole means pole and i in general here in electrostat i will call it as the charge so when i placed the two charges one is the negative charge another is the positive charge i place here the negative charge and here the positive charge the definition of electric dipole is that when two equal and opposite charges are placed at a very small distance it constitutes an electric dipole so why it's why it is called this is the definition you know what is the concept in this hidden and why you are talking about this so basically you know that this characteristic comes with the fact that the net charge of this system is zero what is the net charge here the net charge is zero in this case because the charge has an additive properties right charge can be added what is the net charge of a system if a system has n number of charges simply add it simply add it you will get the net charge right for example if i make you i'll give you a simple square here minus 1 coulomb 2 coulomb plus minus 3 coulomb and here the four coulomb so what is the net charge in this system the net charge will be in this case you have to simply algebraically add the charges q1 q2 q3 so here suppose this is q1 this is my q2 this is my q3 this is my q4 so here minus 1 plus 2 plus 4 minus 3 so 4 plus 2 6 and 6 minus 4 is 2 coulomb right so net charge is two coulomb you have to simply add it so can you tell me anybody that what is the net charge of an electric dipole the net charge of an electric dipole is zero electric dipole is zero that gives an under you know an excited fact that what will be this combination where the net charge is zero so you will say that sir electric field will be zero no however the net charge is zero but electric field is not zero the net electric field not equal to zero why because you know the nature of the electric field is that the electric field will originate from the positive charge and will terminate to the negative charges means it is originating in nature from the positive charges and it is coming or incident uh coming towards the negative charges so here we'll see that the net charge will not cancel out but but if you go at a far distance from the electric dipole you will see that the electric field is decre decreasing drastically than the other combinations right where you see that the due to a single point a single charge so if the single charge is there you have to electric uh, 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 you can find the electric potential you can know the electric field right 
so later i will tell you in the electric potential and electric field also but here what happens that if it is separated by a distance d or in some other book for example in ncrt it is written 2a so if you are following the ncrt the distance is 2a if you are following the hc verma book then it is d distance so that is a simply a notation doesn't matter so here it is see that this beautiful combinations minus q and plus plus q gives a and gives an interesting facts in physics that the charges will here originate and will terminate here charges will originate and come to the negative points here so here the net electric field is not zero but it is separated at a very small distance and sometimes it can be seen in many molecules later i'm going to show you these effects right so in some molecules you will see that the center of negative charges and positive charges are very close to each other right but in some molecules it helps for example in water h2o it is kept at a slightly small distance and the center of negative charges and positive charges is not coinciding so this is called as the polar molecule understood and if the uh, in some molecules like uh, uh, in some molecules for example the co2 co2 is not a polar molecule here the center of negative charges and positive charges the center of negative charge and positive charge coincide here you will see that in such situation when the center of negative charge is the dipole moment there is a term dipole moment will be zero so the, the term is that when a charge is separated by a small distance p minus q2 plus q and at a distance of a small d then there is a dipole moment because of this electric field present here right this it is noted by the p and it is q into d this charge charge is same only the sign is different understood so minus q and plus q the same equal and opposite charges here and this p is denoted by the electric dipole movement so when i say p this is electric dipole movement and yes of course we are watching the electrostatics and electrostatics we see that the charge is in address it is not moving so electric dipole movement which is denoted by the p and which is equal to q into d where q is the charge in magnitude right charge do not have the direction do you know what is the similarity between charge and mass right the difference is that mass is always positive right mass does not have the direction charge is also a scalar quantity charge does not charge uh, does not have directions it is also a scalar quantity you simply add it so if i buy one kg then another one kg i will say that it is two kg the charge right which is a scalar or this is very informative video for you the charge is a scalar and you simply add it so i have one kg mass right and 2 kg mass i say what is the total mass you say sir this is 3 kg the total mass right so if it is m1 this is m2 you just write it m is equal to 3 kg m is equal to m1 plus m2 similarly in the charge also i write q is equal to q1 plus q2 if q1 is some 1 coulomb q2 is equal to some 2 coulomb so total charge is 3 coulomb so it is additive which is a scalar only difference is that charge can be positive or negative mass is always positive right so we have understood that what is electric dipole moment right and dipole moment has the direction normally the direction is from negative charge to positive charge the direction of electric dipole moment it is a vector quantity it is a moment it has direction from negative charge to positive charge q into d okay so now we'll ask the question that what is the direction of electric uh, movement so it is from the direction of electric uh, dipole movement direction of electric dipole movement 
डाइपोल मूवमेंट इज फ्रॉम इज फ्रॉम माइनस क्यू टू प्लस क्यू सो माय वीडियो इज ऑलवेज इंफॉर्मेटिव यू डू नॉट हैव टू वॉच एनी अदर वीडियोज दिट इज सिंपली कंक्लूड्स ऑल द पॉइंट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू दिस इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल्स आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू इनकॉर्पोरेट the different informations that is really helpful and useful for your competitive examinations if you are preparing for ze main ze advanced or csc board examinations or any other registered boards which has the same syllabus direction of electric dipole moment is from minus q2 plus q fine so now we have understood there is a term here we see that if it is a minus q and it is a plus q right and if you add it from here to here right i will write minus q and then the plus q charges are present what is the center center here is the center of the dipole this midpoint here i will draw a midpoint say some uh, a this is the midpoint this midpoint of the dipole midpoint of the dipole is the center of the dipole right so we see it at the sign of uh, it has various uh, uh, physical significance sometimes the negative positive charges is kept at various small distance now it will form an electric dipole because negative charge positive charge all charges are all from the positive charge is coming to the negative charges the it has some uh, significance field lines but uh, or the electric field but what happens in the later uh, chapters um, the, in the coming videos i will tell you that the electric field that is originating from here if i go to a very far distance from this minus q2 plus q very far distance it will have the electric field zero which is very obvious right almost zero because the electric field will you know originate and come directly coming to here coming they they are not going there kitta jayega ye kitta jayega ye yahan se yahan tak so if you are at a very far distance very far distance here the electric field is approximately zero but not inside this dipole here so it is also it seems that it is separated at some some uh, large gap but basically it is separated at a very small distance so very key points are there when you are studying the electric dipole the distance is very small which is denoted by d or 2a electric dipole which is a back dipole moment which is a vector it is denoted by p into d right and we have uh, given the sufficient uh, points here to understand this concepts and uh, normally d is also the scalar so we can write p is equal to some q into d so i i hope so all of you have understood the electric dipole the definition of electric dipole a combination of two charges minus q and plus q a combination of combination of two charges minus q and plus q and separated by small distance d okay it constitute an electric dipole and it has a dipole moment p is equal to qd so one definition another definition you can say a uh, ncrt definition a pair of charges when separated by a distance of 2a it has a negative minus q and plus q charges then it has electric dipole and dipole is q into 2a when in a uh, third definition my definition when two equal and opposite charges minus q and plus q are separated by a distance small d then it has is constituted an electric dipole and this dipole moment is denoted by capital p or a small p generally it is a small p a small p is equal to q into d okay and uh, this line uh, joining this minus q to uh, q is called as the axis of the dipole okay axis of the dipole so i hope so all of you have understood uh, you can find the dipole moment si unit what will be the si unit here the charges is coulomb and the d is the meter so some coulomb meter will be the definitions here okay so see you guys in the next class where i am going to start the electric potential due to a point charge okay an electric field i will discuss in another separate lecture so stay tuned and also solve some of the numericals if you have watched this lecture please subscribe the channel share to the friends also let them learn grow and let them others grow thank you see you in the next class